Hello everybody, it's Rhino, and today I am here at Disney's Animal Kingdom to take you on a shopping journey with me. So uh, I figured we could do our usual, and by uh, our, I mean us, as in me and everybody out there. Uh, I thought we could do the main strip over here, the Island Mercantile, Riverside Depot, etc., and uh, just see what like fun park merchandise is here, whether it's exclusive to the park or just um, some new uh, stuff in general. So before we get um, diving into our, uh, I was going to say before we get too wild, I should have just committed to it. Before we get too wild with our shopping adventure, I want to remind everybody that this and everything that we do here is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. They are experts at helping you plan the perfect Disney vacation. When you book with them, it costs you nothing extra on your trip and you help support the channel, the show, all the content that we produce here. So we appreciate you very, very much. So with that said, I think it's time to uh, just get inside here and uh, check out some fun merchandise. Discovery Trading Company was the etc. I was referring to. It's all just one giant store, really. I did not know they were doing this. It's like a create your own candle thing out here. That's fun. It's cute. But uh, we're not going to be doing that today. I, fi I fear I may be terrible at that. Maybe someday we'll do a video of that. But I'm walking around because I like to walk in to the Discovery Trading Company from this side so we can just like cut across, go up and through Island Mercantile which I always find to be somewhat disappointing. So I like to set myself up for failure. All right, so they have the uh, Space Mountain merchandise here, like this pin, fashion goals, am I right? That's $30. And then of course this lounge fly, which I do actually like. I like the shiny aspect of it. Oh, a little Space Mountain on the side. I don't know if I noticed that last time I looked at it in this video, but anyway, this is like $85. Yeesh. And of course, there's still plenty of the matching ears here as well. So those are $34.99. The back. Woo. All right. These are new, I feel like. Soft. That is $36.99. For no sleeves. For real. $36.99 for this. I want to believe this. See, I like uncommon Mickey expressions. These are $36.99. No, oh my God, is it just, did they just say everything is $36.99? Is that what they do now? This bag is only $40, though, so compared to that other one, I feel like it's a deal. It's pretty nice. I noticed this collection somewhere the other day. I'm sorry, a band just started playing behind me, but there's like this... Walt and Mickey kind of dog tag in there. I want to say that's like... I don't, I don't know. I'm not even going to guess. I don't know where I saw it. But there's like rings and stuff. And then there's the hoop earrings. Ooh. 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 This is new too. I wish this was in a men's cut because this is definitely me. But I don't actually like Alice in Wonderland, so I wouldn't get it. So I guess it doesn't matter. $36.99. Don't. Wait, what? Don't. Don't just fly sore. I don't know why it took me so long to read this this part, because he was like covering it up. And it's pale. Use your voice. These are fun. These are not fun. I don't like bucket hats. Forty dollars for that. Six ninety nine for the matching pants. There we go, we got the leg open. Late for everything. Boom. True. This is new. It's interesting that they didn't choose to put it in his actual colors. And it reminds me of, like, Dalmatians. I guess anything black and white would remind me of the Dalmatians, though. Uh, here's a, the smaller version of the bag. I don't, I don't see price tags on it anywhere. But here's what I'm going to tell you. Expensive. More expensive. Yeah, I like the style how they did this, like, an old painting, though. The, I know they used to sell watches, but I feel like there's, like, a ton of new stuff like this. I think the problem with having like a an Apple Watch though is every day you choose not to wear it, I feel like you're just burning through money because they have a limited shelf life. This is the print I was talking about. I guess it's not a happy birthday, but it looks like it to me. Those extra fancy people up here, they got that Coach Disney stuff, which I haven't seen in person yet. I want to, I don't want to touch it with my filthy, nasty hands. How much is this? Oh my 
god. $595. I probably shouldn't have just put my sweat all over it. And the the Absatch, the Sani Fanny, that one is, oh my god, is that $450? Am I reading this right? Gross. Oh, nope, I touched it. You broke it, bought it. So, how much is this monstrosity? $300. God, gross. There's also flip-flops over here. I am not sure how much they are. There is no price. I think they redesigned these mini shoes. I could be wrong. I thought it just used to be your face, but now it's full body, mini. Gotta do what you can, right, mini? $60. I, I do also believe those used to be 50 as well. Look at these bright flip-flops. $15. Pretzel ears. Gutentag. I don't know why I did that. These are $40. They got a little little padding right there. Oh, they're, they're Loungefly. Again, my God. Loungefly. Disney merchandise exclusively provided by Loungefly. Hold up. It's been pointed out to me. These are scented. I think it's the thing in the middle. Yeah. It's more mustard. safari hat like a harambe you get oh there's four pins on this kilimanjaro safaris harambe and then africa and then so how much how much are you because there's four pins i bet it's more expensive i don't know there's no price tag on anything anymore jeez 40 yep i was right more expensive oh actually i like a good uh, bomber jacket baseball jacket and this one is, it's actually surprisingly heavy, so this feels like this was something that was maybe supposed to come out in the winter and is now coming out when it's about 90 degrees every day here. But it is cute. I do actually really like this one. Like I said, I am a sucker for a baseball or a bomber jacket. This is $80. Good quality. Should Craig get that and I get that one? Yes. Hello. This is new. Boom, baby. It's all about me. I do appreciate the Emperor's New Groove stuff. That is $40. I feel like this Winnie the Pooh collection just keeps expanding every time that I see it. I didn't see this before. $24.99. It says, be happy on the back. No books. I don't know. Cradles, magazines or whatnot. Desk supplies from Mickey and Mini Shaped. I almost called those toothpicks. They're paper clips. I'm an idiot. Tiny dish. Tiny pumpkin. And the poo lamp. The poo lamp is cute. And it's a fun little ambiance of lighting. This is very much like something I'd feel like I'd find it like target or something like that relax and recharge like it's very like home the full like across the line you know like you've got your prints your shirts your sleep stuff this mickey cardigan again i feel like this is being released way too late in the season this is 60 dollars. sweatpants with an embroidered mickey those are 50 change your world this seems a little like Come hang out with us for a little bit. We've got some Kool-Aid for you. It's all, it's all very nice and relaxing. I hope you like the colors of this stuff over here. I guess. Oh, big wide open sleeve on that one. $40. At least that one's less than the 60 I thought it was going to be because you're missing the fabric on the sleeves and the, the tummy. But there's like a little pillow headband. That's $30. And don't worry, there's kids' versions of it too. A new point of view. And a quilted jacket. Oh, this is a really heavy jacket. 60. Actually, I thought it was going to be a lot more than that. It seems a little insane to me that there's flower and garden merchandise here. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too critical of stuff. But, like, festival-specific merchandise should be at the festival-specific park. These guys are cute. These are little bag clips. And they're teal price, which means they are $14.99. Those are fun. There's a Nemo one, and then a Forky. There were more. Here's a little Yeti. Hey, little guy. How are you? And then a Marie. She doesn't have the baguettes. 
this guy? I want to call him Squirtle, but I know that's a Pokemon. Crush. Crush Jr.? I don't know. That's a Goofy. And then there's an Olaf buried in here, too. Some people... Some people are worth surfing for. Boom, nailed it. I feel like these patches are new, too. It's like... 20 bucks. A pin and a patch. <laughs> 20 bucks. Mickey in an Easter Bunny outfit. $27.99. Crazy. I am happy to see the Bigfoot plush has made its way back in. And again, we're just going to talk about how currently I think the Porg is the absolute cutest of all of them. God. It's the eyes and the wings. Just so cute. So cute. And I don't... I'm not a Hercules fan, but this... I'm sorry, but this uh, Pegasus. I love his mohawk. You got Sven, Nala, Dalmatian, Pua, who's in the movie for a total of like two seconds. Rude. These are all $30. It's not like they went up in price a little bit. That's Roger Rabbit. Pinocchio. I saw an aerial back there. I know I don't usually look at pins, and I have no clue how much they are. Craig also pointed these out to me. Oh, look at that. And then uh, they all have, like, little characters in them. So there's Gawk, and then there's a fighter pilot. But this one, we believe, has Beck and Fimarati in there. Possibly. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how much any of them are. There's a turning red pin with May. If you look up there, there's a Sam Eagle... President's Day one. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Also, there's like a million of those clip things because there's an orange bird, there's Winnie the Pooh, there's the anniversary, or although I think that's the wishable, but look. A bunch of these clip, clippy folks slap bracelets. All right, that was Riverside Depot and the Discovery Island Trading Company. We are going into Island Mercantile now. And like I said, my hopes are not too high for this one, but we'll find out. Well, would you look at that? This is the largest collection of the 50th anniversary stuff that I have seen outside of Disney Springs. This is new. Hmm. I like the colors. I don't like spirit jerseys, though, you know. And also, no price. I'm assuming it's like 75 to 80. Oh, these are new. This windbreaker. This says happy five birthday. So this must be something from like five years at Disney? 1976. Oh, the centennial. Craig, thank God he knows American history. America on parade. This is an odd shaped shirt. $36.99, but it's like really thick material. And the leggings, of course. These, I believe, are $40, $45. A tank? That seems more in line with the tummy line. I do not care for this, though. It looks like a pant, pant waist thing. And that one is $30. $30. I do like this sweatshirt. This actually... Oh, I like that there's stuff on the sleeve. This reminds me of those, like... I don't know if anyone had, like, the tree skirts growing up that looked like your mom had, like... It's not crocheted. It's, like, hook and... Catch and hook or whatever. I feel like... I, I really actually like this, too. I'm surprised Craig wouldn't want to get this to make his patch jacket. But this one is, I think, $80. 70 They took $10 off for the sleeves. I haven't seen this, either. Oh. Look at that. Framed pennant. 200. I don't even know what this is. Walter Elias, Disney Town says I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't say. A spoon. I used to actually bring a spoon back for my sister everywhere I went. Kind of still do it. Here's the uh, Crocs that accompanied that spirit jersey that was like the map. I won't make fun of them today because somebody was upset that I did that. 65 Dollars. That feels like a lot of money for Crocs, but, I mean, whatever, gang. Oh, the monorail thing is fun. You know what? Wear what makes you happy. Wear what's comfortable. And I will support you. Don't you worry. 
Unless it's a bucket hat. I'm just kidding. My friend wears a bucket hat all the time and I really think it's just to annoy me. $30. Oh, speaking of, here we are. $45. God, imagine wearing this hat, that jersey, and these shoes. I, I would feel like I'd be dizzy just looking at you. And then having this on the back of your phone. <laughs> it's like embroidered. $40. She would be more expensive, wouldn't she? There's this jacket. I like this one. Cute. I like Mickey when he's in like the uncommon pose or like the different style animation or something like that. That's 75. I don't know what this one is. I think this is just advertising becoming a D23 member to get these pins from all around the Disney parks around the world. I do like that little pilot Mickey pin. It's cute. Here's that black and gold collection. We've seen this before. This jacket. Yeah, see, I feel like this jacket came in way too late. This is, I mean, it's nice. It's puffy. I don't know. I, I don't like the print. Oh, hello, Leather Daddy. Jeez. This also, I feel like your head's gonna bake in this. That's $50. I guess you don't have to wear it here. Holy guacamole. $1,000. They've got uh, one of the 50th statues here, Simba. I don't know how much he was. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to touch him. $100, I got a little close there, sorry buddy. 50th anniversary throw, I haven't seen this. $150, oh my God. Remember when these were all the rage in like the late 90s, early 2000s? I don't know, they might still be the rage and I'm just out of it, but. So Simba's 100. I don't know who was 125. And then there's more Simba down there, but. There's something like a little bit off about the coloring. I feel like they use the wrong shade. Like it should be a little bit of a deeper gold to match the statues that are outside. Yeah, but there is plenty of Simba. I wonder if they're gonna do that for all the statues because I would be interested in the Rocket Raccoon one. $100. I do not think that ornament is worth $100. I saw it closer around Christmas at um, the uh, Days of Christmas at Disney Springs, and it's like one of those like blown ornaments that you get at Target that I feel like will snap if you break it, but I do actually really like this jacket a lot. I like the quilted sleeves. It's really nice. I want them to release like thinner, thinner jackets that can, like baseball jackets. That is 90 that we could just wear when it's like raining or just windy. But not windbreakers, you need it in this style. Very glittery. $35. A bunch of the turning red stuff can be found here too. I accept all labels. Unfortunately, they didn't really make any of this in like adult sizes. Although this might be, but this is $54.99. I like the fluffy on it. And the sweatshirt is actually really soft, but this is definitely, I believe, a girl's cut because it's a little bit... Uh, a little bit smaller on that large size. And then they have the pandemonium. I I like the idea of these, um, these uh, what are these called, flannels? But I feel like they always pick the ugliest color combinations ones. And that's 60 bucks. $60. Oh, I could have just walked over here and got it. See, this is the one I kind of wish they had made in a men's style or unisex shirt. Relax, and then on the back, embrace your inner panda, because it's the panda that makes you special and unique. And they have the magic band too, still $40 there. I just like the art on the box. I'd show it to you, but I don't want to. Just kidding, here it is. Yeah, it's actually fun. There you go. I know a lot of people have really enjoyed this big massive pillow. It's like a squishmallow almost. And this is $30. Very fluffy, very soft. The uh, slippers are cute. Obviously just kids, $20. And a little keychain. If I flip it around, is it May on the other side? It just seems like, the, why do they make the panda pink? It's weird, because she's definitely a red panda. I like the button eyes. This is a youth, I believe, $24.99. And there's some pajamas. The pajama set is 
Finally found like an Animal Kingdom specific shirt. Oh, it's like really, really, really soft. Oh, it's a women's shirt. Great. $36.99. I mean, I guess like, anybody could wear it. It's just the, it looks like the back, the front is a little shorter. It's cute. Cute, cute, cute. Nice frame. Actually like these Lion King things. This one. And the Banshees are still here. $30. No, wait, $30 for the stand. I was like, no way, the Banshee's $30. The Banshee is still like, I don't know how much these are. How much are these? Expensive. That's the answer. That's it. That's uh, my walk through the stores here. I thought there was more stuff than I expected. It is toasty out here, and now I am gonna go meet Craig, and we are gonna do a dining vlog. So I'm gonna go. Uh, if you saw something interesting, leave some comments about it. Let me know where you want me to go next. And if you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And of course, uh, I don't know what else I was gonna say because I already said the thing about leaving comments. I'm hot and flustered now, so. I'm gonna go and uh, get some water and enjoy the rest of the day here at Aunt Disney's Animal Kingdom. Thank you everybody for joining along, any of you who made it this far. I'll see you, see you next time.